guys, can you solve this basic math problem? Well, hopefully you can, but a lot of you unfortunately may get this wrong. And if you do get this wrong, it's probably because of a very common misunderstanding. But in this video, we will make it super clear for you. Let's see step by step how to solve it. But first, try to solve it yourself and comment below for me your answer. Option A, 8, option B, 10, and option C, minus 24, and D, minus 15. Any correct answer comment there. So the problem is 6 minus 6 times 6 plus 5 plus 0 factorial. What does this equals to? We've seen a lot of people do it the following way. Look at 6, 6 is 0, right? It's going to be 0 times 6 plus 5 plus 0 factorial, right? Then we'll see, in mathematics, 0 times 6 gives 0, right? And it becomes 5 plus 0, which is equals to 5. So the answer in this case will be 5, wrong. This is the wrong way for us to solve it. Okay, let's see the right way. Now you have to be careful with the order of the signs. Always be careful to solve the signs in the correct order. To get the correct answer, let's first understand the PEMDAS rule, as it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Here P stands for parentheses, perform calculations inside parentheses first. E stands for exponents. This includes operations like squaring cubing or taking square root. M and D are multiplication and division. These operations have the same priority and should be executed from left to right. A and S E are addition and subtraction. Finally, perform addition and subtraction from left to right. These operations also have the same priority and should be executed in the order they appear in the expression. You have to do a lot of practice problems if you truly want to master the order of operations. This is absolutely a critical part of all mathematics. So in this expression, we have a minus sign, plus signs, and multiplication sign. Of course, the multiplication has a higher priority. So we perform multiplication first. So 6 times 6 is our first move, which is equals to 36. Now the expression becomes 6 minus 36, plus 5 plus 1 factorial. Now we are left with minus and plus signs. Since both have the same priority, so first we perform the operation that appears first when moving from left to right. So 6 minus 36 gives minus 30. Now we have minus 30 plus 5 plus 0 factorial. Now minus 30 plus 5 will give minus 25. Now the expression becomes minus 25 plus 0 factorial. What is factorial in mathematics? Look when a number has this little exclamation mark in front of it. We call this number a factorial. How much is a factorial? You take a number and multiply its predecessors until 1 arrives, alright? 0 factorial, it is worth 1. So we can write the expression as minus 25 plus 1, which is equals to minus 24. This is our final answer. Hope you understand it well. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more such videos. See you in the next video.